Spain's general elections are over, and the left won, but so did the far right, sort of. The Socialist Party has won the elections. We've made it happen. The Socialist Party has won the general election, and with that, the future has won, and the past has lost. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez's center-left Socialist Party polled at 29 percent, taking 123 seats in Parliament. It was no landslide victory, nor was it an unexpected one. The Prime Minister will now have to form a coalition to reach the 176 seats needed for a majority. He could join forces with the left-wing Podemos and try to negotiate with smaller regional parties, including Catalan independence parties. Catalonia, one of 17 autonomous regions in Spain, tried to declare independence in 2017, pushing the country into its deepest crisis since decades of military rule ended in the 1970s. This, coupled with issues of corruption and migration, paved the way for the nationalist populist Vox Party to rise. Now, for the first time since Spain became a democracy almost 40 years ago, there will be an openly far-right party in Parliament. Vox. Previously, a French party took 10% of the votes and 24 seats. This is just the beginning. We told you we were initiating a reconquest. And that is what we have done, a reconquest that has put a voice in parliament. And that's why I can say clearly to all of Spain that Vox is here to stay. Vox, fiercely nationalist, anti-immigrant, anti-abortion and anti-feminist, wants to make Spain great again, promising to build a wall and close its borders, echoing the American president and many of the far-right parties sprouting and growing throughout Europe. With Spain's recent history of military rule, Vox faces steep opposition across the country. Many want to avoid a repetition of the past. And yet, the party has seen an almost explosive rise in the past months. So now, Spain joins the growing number of countries where far-right parties no longer belong in the fringes but have a voice.